October 21, Monday of the 29th week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke Someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. He replied to him, Friend, who appointed me as your judge or arbitrator? Then he said to the crowd, Take care to guard against all greed, for though one may be rich, One's life does not consist of possessions. Then he told them a parable. There was a rich man whose land produced a bountiful harvest. He asked himself, What shall I do? For I do not have space to store my harvest. And he said, This is what I shall do. I shall tear down my barns and build larger ones. There I shall store all my grain and other goods. And I shall say to myself, Now, as for you, you have so many good things stored up for many years. Rest, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this night your life will be demanded of to you, and the things you have prepared, to whom will they belong? Thus it will be for the one who stores up treasure for himself, but is not rich in what matters to God. The Gospel of the Lord Take care to guard against all greed. Jesus speaks strongly against all forms of greed. He warns his disciples against giving in into their cravings for material wealth. Life is not a matter of acquiring, appropriating, and owning property movable and immovable. True disciples of Christ live simply. They cannot go far if they are encumbered by their acquisitions. History tells us that greed is the cause of many broken relationships, conflicts, and wars. It is projected in our political and economic systems, local and global. Every year sees the rise of a few more billionaires while millions are added to the ranks of those already wallowing in poverty. Many individuals organize themselves to satisfy their greed. They hide their greed in their corporations, foundations, and investments. Their charity works are for show, a tiny token of their profits. Many Catholics do not confess their greed. They do not recognize it as a sin. So they never change. Disciples of Jesus guard themselves against all greed. Thank you.